Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Elieska Bushcraft. It's Ashley, as you already, most of you already know. Today we're going to talk about my September EDC, my fall EDC. Um, the last EDC video we did was for spring and summer. I haven't done one in a while, but I mean, it's not like I have a lot of gear change up, but I do have some I've added, I've taken away. Um, <clears throat> so we'll get into what I do, what I carry around in the fall. So let's get into this. Before I start, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more of this Alaskan awesome. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm gonna start with, which is probably, for those of you who watch the channel, will notice originally it was Matthew's trademark, now it's kind of become one of mine, is the boonie hat. This is a stiff and brim, stiff and brim boonie hat, because if you leave the brims the way they are designed and they're all floppy and stuff, they blow around and just kind of make you look dumb. Whereas if the brim is stiffened, it doesn't get in your way, it actually keeps the rain off. And I've really enjoyed keeping this hat around and wearing it, keeping the sun rain off and everything. They, you walk around and people are like, hey, it's the hat girl. So it's pretty great. I've really enjoyed having a hat of my own. I've always been kind of a weird hat junkie. The second item I'm going to talk about is my belt because I really need to put it back on because these pants are a little bit bigger on the waist. Um, for those of you who watched the review on this belt, those of you who watched the belt review I did on this, um, I actually, now that it's broken in more, you'll remember I talked about it being really stiff. I've actually been wearing it a lot and so it's a lot more supple now and I've really enjoyed wearing it and I really like the mod Matthew did putting the rubber keeper underneath the buckle to keep stuff like pant fabric and skin from getting caught up when you go to fasten it. Um, um, for those of you who haven't watched the belt review, um, this is an old world harness. Old world, old world harness, it's made out of really thick leather. It's designed to be a gun belt, but it works great for a gun belt and all purpose utility belt. Works great for car hearts, not so much for jeans, but I primarily wear car hearts. Anyway. Things I carry on the belt. Um, this is the Topps Field Craft. Um, it's my primary belt knife. I really have enjoyed rocking it scout style. Um, heavy duty, just good for an intermediate bushcrafter. Really have enjoyed getting accustomed to using it and doing different things with it. Nothing. It's really great for batoning wood and carving notches and just different bushcrafty stuff that you've seen in previous videos. Um, Next, what I carry on my belt, and those of you who might remember in my last EDC, I had a flip phone. Well, that flip phone got destroyed, so I ended up with an old hand-me-down Blackberry slider, um, which it works. The battery's not the greatest, and it can be a little bit finicky sometimes, but um, it works. As you see, there's red tape on the back. It's because I have lost it out of the saddle a couple times while riding, and I'm like, no, I have to be able to find it. Um, it has a case with Velcro that is faulty. I carry it on my belt, but because the case is faulty, I rigged up a system of paracord that I put on it like this, and when I'm riding or driving or anything like that, um, I'll tie it closed so that this doesn't come undone and this phone bounce out because that has happened before and I really am so sick and tired of losing phones. <laughs> but that's what I carry on my belt. Also on my belt loop underneath my belt, you guys who have watched my last EDC will recognize my keychain. I read one of the comments that said to chuck the keychain in the trash. Well, I'm here to say yes, SWC is fantastic. My bracelets are made by him but my friend made this for me and it's been a really, really good keychain lanyard and so no, I'm not gonna trade up. <laughs> but yeah, barn keys with a dog leash clip. It's got my house key, barn keys, whatever. I'm not gonna like let you guys look too much at them, but dog leash clips that it hooks right onto a belt loop so that you don't lose them because I'm prone for losing things. <clears throat> All right, now for what I wear on my wrists. Okay, now I'm gonna start with the watch. This is the Timex Expedition Sierra has the date, time, everything. Um, I love that it has the leather look because I prefer the leather, but I most appreciate the nylon inlay that keeps it from like falling apart or snapping. Um, this has been a really good watch. I've enjoyed really becoming accustomed to it. My last EDC video, I had just gotten it and hadn't really had time to really get acquainted with it, but I've really enjoyed having a watch to, to reference because I can't always dig my phone out of its case when I'm riding and I need to check the time. Um, also, I've got basic fishtail SWC woven bracelet, paracord bracelet. Now, the thing with paracord is that it looks cool when you wear it, but primarily you use it and you wear these so that you, 
if you get in a situation where you need it, you can unweave it and use the paracord for different things. Um, also, I carry this, this just basic Cobra Weave SWC made bracelet. It's got, as you see, a ferro rod for striking. Um, this is coming really handy. It's pretty clever. Just take it off, strike it a few times, you know, and I've started some pretty good fires with it. I really like, I really like these bracelets. These are my adventure bracelets. I've got gobs more, but we're not going to talk about them. Um, speaking of ferro rods and fire lighting, we have a Zippo. On it is a piece of rubber, as you can see, just to help waterproof it and also keep the fuel from it inside from evaporating really super fast. But this actually needs to be refilled or else I would de demonstrate it. <coughs> Um, also, we've got a compass here. I've been carrying this quite often. I'm still kind of working out how to, how to use it properly. Still trying to figure it out, but I'm kind of getting there. But it's kind of nice to have a compass, especially in an emergency. It's small, fits right in the pocket. It's great. Um, writing utensils. Hmm? Instruments. Now, we'll go. now for the writing instruments. And I got a lot of hate from Mr. Matthew here because my Sharpie and my pen are both blue but you know what that's what I had I've got a sharpie all-purpose sharpie and then I've got a Hobe Sound Bible College trust me I'm not actually going there but it's it's a decent college I'm not going there but I've got this random Bible College pen because it's what I acquired that I carry around carrying pens and markers are important to have also you guys may not understand what this is but this is a hoof pick it is for picking rocks out of horses hooves and horseshoes when you're out riding I carry it around everywhere because not every horse owner actually has their own pick and out when you're out riding and stuff your horse picks up a rock you just want to be able to get down and scrape it right out I have had to scrape rocks out with other rocks but um, this works much better and more conveniently um, Burt's Bees pomegranate chapstick good stuff to have um, my Leatherman Blast multi-tool. This is the oldest thing here that I have ever, that I've owned. I've had it for many, many years, probably going on like six now. We got it in Idaho from Cabela's. I really hate that they discontinued the blast because if this ever falls apart, Lord forbid, um, I, <laughs> I will have to find something else to replace it, but I really do love the blast. It's been a really reliable Leatherman all these years. I like how the plastic grips, the plastic grippers and everything, and just, it's got a good blade. Never had any issues with the blade. I've used this saw for years and years. It's still very functional. Um, it's got all the basic, very basic tools, scissors, screwdriver, can opener, file, um, different, different things for grommet screws and stuff and such. Just the basics and pliers, of course. <sighs> just the good old Leatherman Blast. And then we've got here a flashlight, which I've made a lot of use of lately because for those of you who are familiar with Alaska, you realize that in the evenings it gets really, really dark and the nights are very, very dark. And the further into the year it goes, the nights and mornings will be darker and darker. And I have a barn that does not have light. The lights do not work. I've been using this to see what I'm doing at night in the barn. Um, next, I've got the Benchmade 580 Barrage. Just my basic flip knife, my box opening knife. Um, it's a pretty good flip knife. I had a Gerber for a while, which was kind of cheap. This is definitely much better than that. This is carried right up in my pocket by my hip where I can grab it for easy access. Also, in my pocket, I carry with me a coil. I call it a donut. My friend who made my keychain lanyard showed me how to do this, um, of paracord. You can do hundreds and hundreds of feet of paracord just continuously weaving it around in a donut um, and carry it easily in a pocket or a pa backpack. I've seen them that were like that big and it's like, okay, that's way more than I need. But for smaller, easy access paracord for any situation, we've got what I like to call the donut. It's really super easy to make, really super easy to unweave. Um, and you can store a lot of paracord this way. <clears throat> I primarily carry it in one of my cargo pockets for easy access in case I need it. Also here we've got a wallet, just a basic leather wallet. Nothing too special, it's from Columbia, it's real nice. Just got different cards and stuff, I've got absolutely no money. I'm broke, just kidding. <laughs> absolutely no money, nothing really that special about it. And then what I added to my EDC is my Gideon Bible New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. Um, 
when you're out on the trail and you're just ready to take a break for a bit, it's just nice to sometimes sit down and just have something to read, you know, something to read. Um, reading the Word of God, all that. The print is very, very tiny, and the book, as you can see, is, has a lot of wear and tear because it has been doused because I have a horse that likes to swim without my permission. <laughs> but it's still holding up pretty well. I might eventually have to replace it, but it fits right in a pocket. It's really, really convenient. And then I've got my, probably at this point in the year, dealing with seasonal allergies, my most favorite thing in this, this kit is my handkerchief which needs washed again, by the way, so I'm not gonna unfold it, but um, it's really nice to have a handkerchief when you're out in the bush and you really need to blow your nose, I right, will that's say. That's my fall EDC, God bless, and I'm out.